YouTubers, it's Ken and Paul from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken and Paul food review just for you. And Say hi, Paul. You. And just for you. <laughs> All right, so uh, we are in Nashville, Tennessee, and we wanted to do a Hattie B's, but they were they close at 4 o'clock on Sundays, and we got there too late after the football at game. 4.07. At 4.07, they wouldn't let us in. So we saw uh, White Castle, and Paul has never been to a White Castle before, so I thought we'd treat them to uh, just your regular sliders. So we did a, the number one slider combo, so it's like four regular hamburgers. We did cheese on. As well. as well, yeah. Uh, and then we also saw on the menu uh, sriracha chicken. Sriracha chicken. So and I don't there was know. Two sriracha chickens, though. There was an yeah, ultimate. We didn't do the ultimate. We just did the regular. regular. So this is. I think this is Paul's bag, and the whole thing came to twelve dollars. I think twelve seventy three. So. So we, uh, this basically was going to be just a sriracha review, but since Paul's never had their burgers, he was quite uh, concerned on how they cooked them. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh... They put the patties on this flat top, and he's putting the bun on top while they're of the raw meat, raw. Which you're thinking blood would like a bun is like a sponge, and it's gonna soak up. So it seemed. Yeah, a I thought little, they would. Uh, I thought they would cook one side, flip yeah, them flip over, it, and then put, then them put on. the bun on. So it seemed a little weird. Yeah, obviously it works, and hopefully not too many people. I got a bonus fry. Did you get a bonus fry in yours? I did not. One big bonus fry. Check it out. Hmm, the fries are pretty okay. good. They, I kind of, I guess I'd kind of compare that to like a McCain fry. What do you think? I'd say so. Yeah. Okay. So before we get, oh. we're gonna do these ones first, and then Paul's. Like I didn't turn it. I didn't realize the box wasn't closed. It would just slid out. Ooh, so la, just la. in case you're new, and you've never seen this before, they do uh, the little boxes, uh, and then they slide your little burger into there. So I've got. Ooh la la. <laughs> so you got. I got four. I know. So you. Oh, we're gonna do this first. So, okay, and then we'll so do that side. that after? Okay. Yeah. So this is the sriracha chicken. I'm, I totally gapped. I realized after we had ordered it uh, that we, we kind of screwed up and didn't get the ultimate because I wanted to do the ultimate, so I apologize. So that's uh, what it looks yeah, like. I'm curious. Says there. Yeah, it looks like some kind of mayonnaise, like a, well, it's, I guess a sriracha mayonnaise and then a, a fried chicken. Or it could just be a regular mayonnaise with a sriracha chicken. No, because is the color sriracha? of the, no, because the color of the mayonnaise. Oh, I'm thinking it's a sriracha mayonnaise. Okay, well, it, just try it. Yeah, so it's sriracha mayonnaise on there with a spicy chicken slab, and that's pretty much it. Are you ready? Sure. Let's do it. The chicken's pretty good. The heat's building up a little bit, not too much. I'm kind of digging that. Yeah, I guess. That's definitely, well. I'm curious if the ultimate one is spicier or if it's the same thing with something else. I think that. the ultimate had jalapenos on it. Mm. Just to beef it up a little bit. The, the picture the, looked a lot bigger than uh, it has a bit of a thing, but it's, I wouldn't say it's. It's not hot. It's not unbearably hot. It's a nice, it's actually just a nice smooth, uh, spicy finish, I guess you could call it. So it's not overbearing. And I guess that would be formed chicken. Right? Yeah, it looks like it's uh... We should have compared the patties of, of chicken because they're probably stamped from the same thing. Mm. From the same mold. Yeah, the breading's good. Uh, their buns are always super fresh because I steam them. The chicken is perfectly fine. The sriracha sauce is nice. I would definitely probably... I'd buy that again, no problem. I think it'd be better if I had tomato and lettuce in there. Yeah. And pickle. No pickle. On chicken? Wow, you're weird. You're having weird people on the show. <clears throat> I'm gonna finish this off just for you guys. You ready? Okay. Ding. Ding. So this was the number... Gooey. One meal? Yes. So on their With menu... cheese. Right. On their number one, it's four little burgers. Uh, fries and the drink, and that's the number one combo, I believe. It's funny, there's... Oh, there's a pickle in there. Oh, is there? Oh, I'm screwed. I'll eat it. I'm gonna eat one with the pickle, just for it you looks guys. Like that's all that's in there. Are you ready? Yep. Ding. It's funny I didn't see them putting the pickles on. Any time. I didn't uh, notice either. To the process. Well, I love pickle. It is possible over time I'll start to like pickle, but to me it kind of wrecks the burger at this point in time. Look at that! I put my head right inside the burger. Mm -mm. Neat, eh? <laughs> Smiley face. Again, it's really soft because it's all steamed. What do you think? First impression. That's pretty good. I'm, just, I'm just curious if 
You can have garnet. Like if you ask them, do they put mustard and like anything in there, or you just get it like that and you add on after? I have or? no idea. This is only my third time. It's my first time, so. Mm -hmm. So let's try one more. It's not a lot of food. Uh, the price is great, but yeah, I, I, I don't think you get a whole lot of food for even though it's cheap. You don't get too much. So I'm gonna try. Can you pull my pickle off? Pardon? What? There you go. Mm, um. If you are ever close to a White Castle, you gotta try these for sure once in your life. And it definitely tastes better without the pickle. Just my opinion. I think the pickle makes it. Hmm, there you go. That's why it's good to have guests on the show. All right, guys. Paul and I are gonna finish these off and we'll be right back. Hang on. Like that. Nice. Way to time go. Too. I like it. All right, guys. Two points for Paul, and I get one point for an assist. Nice. Nice. All right, guys. On my rating scale, I'm going to give the Sriracha uh, Sliders. Um, I would recommend. It's not a go out and get it now kind of food. Uh, how would you rate the Sriracha first? I think I'd go the same. I wouldn't uh, be craving to go out and get it right away, but there's I nothing think it's, crazy um, special about it. Yeah, but it was it was good if I was if I was just out and about. Although we don't have White Castle in Canada, yeah. as far as I know. But when you're cruising the states and you um, see a White Castle, you stop in, grab yeah, one. Probably grab one, sure. Yeah. And what about the burgers? Burger was good, different. Um, I almost feel like it's it's not not to sort of compare different things, but you know, when I I prefer if I just get the bur regular burger, the every once in a while, like I love Big Macs. But just a regular cheeseburger because it has the onion and the pickle. But mm. it has ketchup in there too. And I like ketchup. Although if I put ketchup on that, it'd be like, it almost tastes like a McDonald's one. But this is softer because I've steamed yeah, it. Steamed it. All right, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken and Paul food review. Ken and Paul out. Out. Beep. Hey, guys. It's Ken and Paul from KBD Productions TV. You want me to do that? That sounds good. That sounds good. Okay, let's do it. This is the part I speed up so they can't hear us until we're finished. You can follow me out of the corner of your eye. Stop. Look left. Oh. Look left. <laughs> Big smile. Look at the thing. Bite it. Okay. Go. <laughs> All right. Oh. Shut it off. Is that Jimmy? Beep. Beep. What the hell's a beep?